So today I wanted to share some more of my childhood experiences with you. Um, as most of you are aware, I was raised in a Mormon family. And so that means that from the moment I was able to think or to hear or to learn, I knew that there were certain roles and expectations that were put upon me being born in a female body. doesn't mean I enjoyed them, but they were there. And who am I to sit and doubt what my parents are teaching me or my teachers at church, my church leaders are telling me that this is how God wants me to, to act and this is what God expects of me. Now, when I was a kid, I wanted nothing more than to have all the adults in my life love and adore me. And so I worked really hard to fit whatever expectation they, they had for me. And um, so basically, as a young Mormon, that meant that I had to look forward to dresses at least once a week, if not twice a week. If there were church activities, I'd be wearing a dress. And if I was wearing a dress, I couldn't run and jump and goof off because I was supposed to be ladylike and I couldn't let anybody see my underwear and what I just it was very confining very constricting I didn't care for it at all it didn't fit me in any way shape or form and I fell at odds I didn't I never really had any close girlfriends because I didn't understand girls I didn't want to hang out with them they were silly, they were funny, the things they wanted to talk about and play, I didn't get. Even my younger sister, I have a sister that's, what, 22, 22 months younger than me? And we really didn't do a whole lot together. When we were kids, we would play, and she wanted to play house all the time. And I didn't like playing house. But I, she'd con me into it every once in a while, and the only way I would play is if I got to be the kid brother who was a brat. And I often wanted her to call me Tim or Tom. I, I don't know why I liked those names, but that's I. If she wanted to play house, fine. I was going to be a brat, and I was going to be Tim, or I was going to be Tom, and she was going to have to deal with a bratty child. So, um, we she didn't play house for me <laughs> with me for long. Um, oh, what I what I really wanted to share with everyone today was a is a uh, some papers that my mom gave to me back when I was still married and in her good graces she was cleaning out the house and or cleaning out her house and came across a bunch of old school papers that she had saved from when I was in first grade second grade third grade and it just floored me when I, I I didn't really look through them in depth at that time and it wasn't until I was actually going through my divorce and moving out that I sat and I went through these piece by piece and I came across this one it looks like I was in um, third grade starting third grade and it's one of those packets where the teachers give you the ditto copies to fill out this is my favorite color this is my favorite food and it just has a bunch of worksheets that I filled out at the teacher's request and then at the end they have you make the fancy uh, picture to put on the front so that when your parents come for parent-teacher conferences they can be impressed by all of the hard work that you've been doing in class. So here is what I found all about me by Celeste, right, right there Celeste, and if you notice it's a picture of a girl I was drawing this with the knowledge that my parents were going to be seeing this, and so this is me. And I didn't know how to draw girls. A girl in my class taught me how to draw girls, and this is how she taught me to do it, starting with the face and then drawing a triangle body. I mean, it was all about shapes, and that was the best I could do. But I thought it was pretty cool being able to combine different shapes to come up with a different picture. But yes, I am wearing a dress, but that's with the knowledge that this is going to be viewed by my parents. And unfortunately, my teacher didn't really point out to me that that's who's going to be reading the papers that go inside, because I didn't understand the papers were going inside um, when I wrote them. But here, let me read a few, a little bit about me. Let's see. All about me. My name is Celeste Swenson. 
I am eight years old. Are you a happy person? Yes. Is school a happy place? No. Would you rather be alone or with a lot of people? Alone. What clubs do you belong to? None. Are you a good reader? Yes. Do you like to try new things? Yes. The people in my family are, and I list off all of my brothers and sisters at that time, it looks like my mom had had the twins, so there were one, two, three, four, five, six of us at that time. I'm the oldest of nine, by the way. Uh, my favorite subject is art. The subject I don't like is writing. The, if I could change school, I would... I just wrote one word, recess. Maybe recess all the time. If Let's see. I want to be a blank when I grow up. I wrote artist. One thing I'm afraid of is fire. It makes me laugh. I became a pyro later in life. I can read better than anyone else. I need lots of help with math. If I could change one thing about myself, it would be to be a boy. One thing I want to do at school this year is go out and play. If I had three wishes, I would wish for have lots of money, have lots of books, and to be a boy. So there's, there's like four five pages here. Let's see. Some of it's just, you know, mundane. There is a picture of me and Eric playing cowboys and Indians. I don't know if I have a picture of that tucked in there. And then on this page, the accompanying page says, this is your life. People are always wishing to change things. This is your chance. If you could change your appearance, it would be to look like a boy. Family, it would be to have five more brothers and sisters. I had this idea that the more brothers and sisters I had, the less work I would have to do. They could clean my room for me. If I could change my school, it would be to go back to Bunker Hill. We had just been bussed over into a new school system, and I missed my old school. If I could change my house, I would paint it blue. If I could change my clothes, it would be not to have dresses. Yeah. Anyway, I really found this to be enlightening. Now, when I first found this, after I was moving out and getting a place of my own, I, I read that and remembered what, you know, wanting to be a boy, but at that point in my life I was just freaking out because I was divorcing and I was just excommunicated and my mother was quite upset with me and I was on my own for the first time in my life and so I wasn't ready to do any transitioning at that point. It wasn't until just this last year when Christine and I were in a good place and she finally recognized that I am more trans than than a lesbian. And she was willing to approach me about it, and I was able to confirm that that's the direction I was leaning, but I was just too scared to go that direction without her support. So I'm really grateful for Christine being willing to allow me the space to to do this transition and not... You know, she's been really supportive. She's been really supportive, and I'm grateful to her for that. So... Anyway, those are the the memories that I was wanting to, to share today. Um, thanks to all of you who've been writing, giving me suggestions and comments. I really appreciate your comments and, and ideas, so thank you very much. Um, take care, and I'll, I'll be back soon. Bye.